In our In Session series, we help you make sense of the hot topics in the legislature. Right now, the death penalty is officially banned in Washington state. So after years of restrictions and legal maneuvers preventing executions, the governor signed a full ban into effect yesterday. Now, the state last executed someone in 2010. Inslee announced a moratorium on the death penalty in 2014, vowing to never sign a death warrant while in office. Now, the state Supreme Court invalidated the law in 2018 after ruling it was racially biased. A statistical analysis from the University of Washington found that juries were about four times more likely to sentence black defendants to death. Study after study have revealed that how people of color most likely to get the death penalty than other people. And to finally remove that noose from around our neck, that's substantial, particularly here in Washington State. Between 1904 and 2010, the state of Washington executed 78 people. Yesterday, Governor Inslee also signed a bill into law creating a new team that will investigate cold cases of missing and murdered indigenous women and people. The state attorney general's office will run the new unit. Washington has the second highest number of missing indigenous people in the United States. The new team will help law enforcement agencies, especially smaller ones, dig into cases for members of the indigenous population. The AG's office will also be allowed to prosecute cases in those smaller counties if needed.